here. Look at this clever design. You're gonna be able to make all your drinks, but not only that, you're gonna be able to do your chopping as well. It is brand new, birthday priced at $59.95. So chef, you're gonna to have to show me how this works. I love that it's just a nice, slim design, not some great, big, clunky thing. Oh, so easy to use. Now, we give you two blades. The serrated blade is whenever you make a drink with ice in it. You can see that serration. And the S blade is the chopper blade, right? That's the straight edge blade. You also take home this brilliant little um, trident. Now, this is shatterproof. It won't get smoky. It won't harbor flavors. It is the best kind. So we love that trident. It's also dishwasher safe. All right, let me get down to business because this is what you're going to use it for. You're going to pour some ice in there, Alice. This is Lindsay's favorite summer drink. And then you top up that ice with a little bit of rosé. And when I say a little bit, you know how she likes it. So you go ahead, <laughs> you pop that lid straight on like that, Alice, and then you slide it in, you twist it to the left, and you pulse. Maybe pulse it three or four times before you hold that button down. Now, what that pulsing will do, it just allows the ice to settle back in, and then you hold it down maybe 10 to 15 seconds. You can stop it and start it if you want. What's going to happen is you're going to turn that rosé and ice combination into a perfect slushy, right? So this is great for kids. No, not with the rosé in it. That's just great for the... Uh, for my wife. <laughs> for Lindsay, I love it too. But, yeah, it's, it's great for making kids' drinks as well as the adult beverages. Have a look at it. I mean, imagine on a nice hot day like we're having here in Los Angeles today. The wine glasses um, are also available. They're Trident wine glasses. All right, so we did one for Mum. Let's do one for the kids. This has got a little bit of strawberry compote in it. My mm. boys absolutely love a thick shake and the thicker the better for them so i pour a little bit of milk over that strawberry right and we've put a little guide there there's a little max line so you'll know to not overfill it push it in turn it to the left you go one two three and then go ahead and let it rip right so what we're doing here is in this 0.7 of a quart jug so it really is that perfect little kind of individual size now, you can just, you're only limited by your imagination. Of course, we're sending you home with recipes. You know us, we always send you home with a bunch of different recipes. In this particular product, we're sending you home with 14 recipes. Once you're done, you just pull it straight. It comes out, you pop off that lid. You can remove um, the blade if you like. And then you just go ahead and you pour that gorgeous thick shake. Oh yeah. Oh, beautiful. I mean, come on. How Smooth good does that silk. look? Hmm. Smooth as silk. So, to be honest with you, the basic um, uh, purpose here is a blender, right? Um, where's my uh, bin gone there? Joy. <laughs> I don't have anything to make my drink in love. <laughs> She'll find me something. <laughs> now, what we're doing is just we have, have frozen berries just, you know. and I've got red <laughs> just, wine. Oh, thank just, you very just much. Just go ahead and pick up that <laughs> handle. <laughs> That's helpful. <laughs> That's Easy why there's a handle. Use without the jug. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll find the handle. Exactly. Uh, so now I'm popping in fresh, fr uh, sorry, freshly frozen berries, and then I pour in my red wine. So this is a bit of a play on sangria. You can either use ice. Of course, ice will dilute the flavour of the drink, or you can freeze the liquid that you're going to put in, like you could have frozen that rosé. Lindsay does like it quite light. In this case, I'm using frozen berries. So that's kind of acting as my ice in this particular instance, and I'm going to make my frozen sangria... Now I get all the flavours of the berries. You could also freeze the citrus fruit if you wanted to add oranges or something like that. So you go ahead, you give that those few seconds and you unclick, you pull off that lid, you remove that blade and you bring it straight on over. And oh yes, Alice, you've got that perfect frozen sangria. So for any kind of frozen cocktail that you like, you now have the means to do it. Um, one more over here. I'll put ice in the bottom. I'll put a little lemon sorbet on top of that. You put just a little drop of Cointreau. That's the orange-flavoured liqueur. Just a little drop of tequila. <laughs> that was a big drop. <laughs> that was, and that was just more a little a heavy bit of lime juice. <laughs> heavy pour. Well, you know what? It's 5 o'clock somewhere, Alice. You go ahead, you pop that in. It, this is just one of those really fun products. Again, hit it once. Hit it twice, hit it three times, and then let it rip. It's got anti-skid rubber um, feet on the bottom, so you can see how it's not bouncing around. 
That, of course, has been done on purpose. Here I've got a beautiful margarita glass, so you know what's coming. Make sure you give it that maybe 15, 20 seconds to really um, blend that drink up and really break up all of that ice. And you pick that up, hold the blade to one side. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. and there is your gorgeous margarita. I tell you what, whether it's these beautiful drinks, and I'll bring this over and show you the four, the froze, the shake, that frozen sangria, and then that beautiful margarita. Whether you're making drinks or whether you want to use it as a chopper, I've actually got that taken care of as well. I'm going to throw tomatoes in here. I'm going to throw some cilantro. I've got some lime. I stick my lid on, or a little bit, of, little bit of fresh lime, my lid on. I pop that on. I'm going to give everybody a quick reminder because this is my last one. Alice, I showed everybody in my last hour. This is my new dunk. This is what I'm calling the brew bag, right? I'm going to remove my coffee bag. You guys, this is how simple it is to make a coffee. All you're going to do is take one of those bags. Mm. You brew your own coffee, whether you're traveling, doesn't matter where you are. There's 60 people in the entire country that can get it. So if right. you want to pick up on my coffee, you'll be the first customers yes. that it, have ever tried it. It is going to sell out, guys, if so you want good. it in yep. the coffee. Uh, do we have any flavors left? Oh, look at that. Just, so good. Just the French roast. I can't believe we have any of those left. Okay, French roast and I think a handful in the decaf available in the coffee. You've never seen anything like a drink maker alone can cost a couple of hundred bucks. This 